All right, what is going on, everyone, and welcome back to Death Trap. My name is John. We are once again continuing on. This is the same session as part six, but before we started, uh, I mentioned last time I would go over the options menu, and this time we're going to be doing the Cave of Valor mission. It's the latest map that they have added in the early access. So I'm going to be covering that, but before we do that, let's check out the options menu. This has a lot of very good options. One thing that you should never have on in an RPG is auto equip. And that's pretty much it. Audio, good, it's pretty standard. A lot of brightness options, darker, brighter, saturation. And there is windowed, full screen, borderless, and regular windowed, full 1080p and I thought there was higher but I have no idea we're gonna be playing on ultra settings this one SLI I really could not tell you because well I don't have an SLI cards so, or I don't have two I only have one so it doesn't really matter this is a tower defense game and advanced options menu character detail shadow detail it doesn't really matter it still looks good on three instead of four and FPS limit. I mean, like, I think it's capped at 60 regardless. That's what I've been seeing. And you should not have VSync on unless you have, like, a lot of screen tearing. But I have not seen that at all. And everything else is pretty good. Controls, you could play this with a controller, but I mean, you really don't use many keys except for, like, 1 through 5 and, like, Q, W, E, R, T, and all that stuff. And so yeah, a lot of these stuff are pretty good to have, but not really, you don't really need all this stuff actual in-game. So that, with that said, um, but yeah, what else is there to say? There are two characters available right now, the Sorcerer and the Mercenary. I like the Mercenary because it just doesn't die and it's more balanced. And there's a DLC option that does not work. So there's an editor where you can create stuff that's also pretty cool. Though I would hold off on until the full game comes out. There's cooperative and versus mode, which is excellent. So last time, what we did was the Nameless Tomb. You could go watch that. And all the videos I have, this is like part 7, I believe. So all of them are like organized into a playlist. So you can just watch that freely. And yeah, we're gonna be starting the Cave of Valor. And as usual, these are probably locked until 20, and we're gonna be playing it on the normal difficulty mode. And if you are new to my channel, I'll try to, or new to the videos exactly, I will explain everything as we go. So this is an RPG tower defense kind of game, and great. All right, so another abandoned area. Okay, so. These are the spawn points where the enemies come from. They get their goal is to get to your defense point and that's how you lose if you get 20 of them through your gates. The yellow or orange line is their path and these ink portals are teleport devices. These things on the map are traps and summons and towers where you could defend them and over here are, it tells you how many enemies are currently in the wave. Over here is your essences, currency to build towers, and your abilities right here. So, a little advanced stuff that I've noticed is you can actually lure them off the path. And so, this one seems like a little more open area, like the vaults um, previously in that map. I assume they're going to be coming out of different points a little bit later like here here all that stuff so generally you want to hit choke points but you don't want to go too far down over here those are like emergency states so what I would do is start building towers uh, over here first like these are gonna be your main for DPS locations um, a gun sentry those are good Actually, what do these do? Enemies are slowed. Eh, we're gonna we'll get one we don't need exactly for yet. A razor launcher. Um, 
Now I picked this one up, I didn't really test too much of it, but I don't know, there's a cooldown between shots, so I don't exactly know how this will be. Uh, we'll try it, we'll give it a shot. If it sucks, oh well. And I have not played this map at all yet, so... Geisher Towers... Um... This is actually a little tricky. I don't know what's gonna happen. And generally you... This one is new, I actually just picked it up. It's a... And any enemies who die in the pit turn into a Golkin. Now, I don't know if this is good. It sounded cool at the time, but we'll try it. And as always, slow pits are generally good for later. Uh, might as well upgrade more. So, luckily, they don't all spawn at once, which is balanced. <laughs> and, yeah. It makes them like cow mooing sound. So generally you want to kill them quick, there's a slight cooldown since uh, the first wave. Hold on, I want to get them in here and then kill them. I don't even think that works. Oh my goodness. So this ability, it boosts your traps um, generally. I think it's DPS wise. I really didn't expect them to pass the towers too much. This side is fine, but oh, wow. Um, Archer post, and there are Temptress Harpies. All right. Oh, build trap. What the hell? <clears throat> I have not seen that before. What is this? Boosted damage. Okay, well, this thing. It. That location, it kind of sucks. I wish it was in the center. That would be so much more helpful than over here. Well, that's okay. So now they're going to be coming from this way as well. So I got to make sure to properly defend one area. And doing that is not exactly easy because there aren't that many areas to like wall off. So just make an ice field. So they're gonna come over here. This slows them. Be enough. I need and Archer Oh, well. Uh. I wish there were more gun turret zones over here. But I mean, I guess we'll do this. Why not? Traps need essence. I guess I'll pick it up since it's over here. This is like the most useless location. If it was like in the center right here, that would be so much more helpful. Generally, the third new side always comes in a little bit later. This side is fine. Oh, I got this. And my ability for here is a charge attack that does AoE damage. And this is the regular, and this is the map ability where it's pretty much curses them so they take more damage and trap boost self-explanatory uh razor tower is probably not a good decision but you know trial and error oh, Jesus. okay 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 well we are doing fine i'm just waiting for the next one to start spawning over here I should probably upgrade these lightning towers like later on after the game. It just seems like a good idea, but then it's just like, is it really though? Last 
one for the wave. So there's five waves in total. Nice. Alright, so what do we want here? They're gonna be... This one wasn't so bad. Um, we might look at and in, look into that one. That one seems like an important since they have to come through here anyway. Um, the traps are ready. <laughs> That's like barely out of range. Can you? Oh, you can't even upgrade these yet. All right, so. Ugh. That was... that's not exactly good. That was kind of a waste, but that's okay. Oh god, they started over there. Did not know that. And... Ever since the first uh, early access date, they, they tweaked a lot of stuff, like damage and all that stuff. So the mercenary is a little bit weaker because the first time I played it when it came out, it was broken, overpowered. Um, it's just, it's a little bit a little nerf, so. It's still pretty good, though. Oh my. And, the one thing I've noticed is ranged enemies are still quite strong because their attack patterns, they just focus you, and then if you're playing on hard mode, you just instant die. So that's not exactly great. Gotta kill the rock golem. Oh, they got. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Oh, my God. Nope. Oh. Should probably build emergency towers over here. What is that? What does that do? Physical damage. 150? I don't know if that's really worth it, but. Okay, well... And then health bar, mana, or rage, which is essentially mana. Just pay attention to that. It's quite important. It's a lot of rock golems. I think they have something where it goes down to one health automatically, no matter how much damage. Like, you could one-shot them, it'll still be at one. I think that's what, uh... One of the abilities is kind of weird, but that's okay. So, wave... No, we're on wave four already. <laughs> that's kind of fast. Now, this one... I assume the final wave is going to be on this side as well. Alright, so let's take a quick look at this area. Now, as you can see, this is pretty bad. It starts right near the bottom, so we want to fortify it immediately. The traps are ready. Um, a slow Icicle feel is generally Running slow is message. good, so I'm going to save up a little bit for that. Just gotta make sure to watch it so they don't spawn immediately. So yeah, 50, good. Holy Jesus. They one bot quickly. Thank god we have towers over there. So this one, yeah. Towers over there, got it. I think I could pick them off if they come too close. I think this, like, flies really fast. Uh, I think we're okay for this side. I just, just start saving. The fact that it's going to be coming from this side next wave worries me a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going 
gonna start saving. Once we get um, the starter open and there's like enemies spawned over here, we're okay. So this ability is quite good as you can tell. Something you should upgrade immediately. Kill the harpy. Deep Wild Ring. Generally not so good. Nice! I love being frozen. It's amazing. Alright, so. They give you four towers over here immediately for a reason. Let's use them. Let's actually build all four of them first, and then we'll upgrade. The traps are ready. All right, so all of them are slightly balanced. The fact that it fit perfectly to all the funds is quite. Good. I did not expect that. Just gotta make sure to watch my health. Once uh, minions start dying over here, I'll be okay. Go! Nice. Now we should be fine on top side. Gotta start upgrading these. The ones that are closer are generally more of a threat. These might be good. I don't know. Oh, do not kill the ones that go fast. Hello? Can I help you? Uh oh. Nope! I'm frozen. It's actually kind of bad. Make sure not to leak too much. And then after the final wave, or all of them spawn, there's always a final boss. And last time it was kinda... It wasn't easy. We did it. So I don't even know why these traps are there. It doesn't even path that way. So whoever designed this part... Do you test your own game? I don't know. So we got towers here. I gotta defend the final part a little bit. I'm running out of essence. I, s I just don't know why these are here. They don't even go on this path. These are easy to kill, sort of. I got this. Oh my goodness. That's bad. This one's trying to break through. Oh, I prevented one. That, ooh. I did not see that. This madness. I need another tower over here and archer posts over here. Alright, well, we got it. Oh, great. 
see, we need 100, we got 49. Ugh. Um, okay, so there's, that's the boss. And there's one of these. Should be okay now. Yeah, so he's gonna summon one more after this one because I couldn't find the other one, so I'm just like, wait. Ooh, yellow. Okay, apparently that was the final boss, and there was that counts as two. Alright, so that was pretty quick. I leaked two because I wasn't paying attention to that side. <laughs> That's not good. But that was pretty much it. And I think in about like two weeks or something or another week or two. I don't know. I have to take a double look. Wait, whoa. That made no sense. I have to double check that again and see when the final map is before all the other stuff. So, as you guys can tell, over here you can upgrade your towers and whatnot. So, generally, this one was okay. Uh, I like this one, though. The ground trap. And see, so you can tell your points over here. And that was good. And over here, you can upgrade your main stats. This is what I use, like my main ability. It's like common sense. You should do that one. And you could start off with like max, more max rage, health, get more essences or starting money. And this is your overall map ability. So I found those pretty good. And as always, there's a store. Hold on, V, I think, yeah. This one is good, so you can upgrade that, sell that. Uh, I'm not even sure. I think that was... I know what it is. Okay, so... With that said, um, I covered all the maps already, and yeah, that's pretty much all you, all that really matters with all this. Pretty cool to have, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to drop a like on the video. It really does help me out. You guys are awesome, and until next time, stay tuned for more videos. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe for more daily content of whatever I'm playing, and. If you are interested in checking out this game, I'll leave a link in the description. It's called Death Trap, so have a fantastic day.